Hey, Mike here from 28 Fish, and today we're doing a year with the gear review. So today I'm going to show you the clam fish house cover. So even though we have the Otter Pro flip over shack, we went with a clam cover because it's a better quality, has more features I was looking for. So after about a year of having it, I just wanted to show you kind of what uh, it looks like, kind of the condition, and tell you my honest review about it. So a couple of the features we were looking for was an access panel in the top, which this one does. There's a button down and it, it zips all the way along. The second thing we're looking for is some tie-down straps, and these are integral of the clam cover, so that's great. And the third thing we want is to, to be, have a turnbuckle of some kind, like these do, in order to uh, tighten it up, just like that. We're laying down on the job for an up and close personal view. <laughs> so, the clamps, the strap that come, they have a, uh, a clamp, so this is one piece, works pretty good. The only problem is they flare out to sort of this almost duckbill shape, which for a clam style shelter works great to hit on the rail if you want to come underneath here and see that but on the otter it doesn't quite work so we installed these d d rings these tie downs um, which i'll show in another review but that works pretty good the only drawback because it is kind of wide it's a little bit difficult when you're reaching underneath to, to uh, hook them up but with that quick ad adaptation it works fairly well and we've never had the cover come off so to the positive, like I said, the four down integral straps, tie downs are great. We like the turnbuckles, we like the access panel. It's water resistant, fairly, pretty much completely waterproof. And the fact that it's deep enough to accommodate, even with this futon, as you've probably seen in our videos that we put in here, an extra 10 inches, it still is able to wrap around the sled and keep it completely dry inside. So some of the cons are as follows. Number one, the first thing we notice is just the wind rash of them going down the highway. We've had this fraying happening on parts of the cover. So, I mean, eventually that's gonna wear right through. Secondly, this as great as this access zipper panel that has snaps is concerned, it's great, but for a quick access, but the problem is the straps go over top, so you have to take the straps off anyway. It's kind of poor design. Okay, so as far as the snaps go, they're really, they're great for keeping it closed. But as you can see, number one, they've ripped through again from the road rash, the wind rash up down the highway. And secondly, you can see they're starting to corrode. They're not stainless steel, which is kind of a silly thing. Anywhere you're going in the snow belt, you're going to have salt on the highway. And when you get salt on the highway, it's going to rust. So you can see staining along here. So not too terribly concerned, but they're not going to last super long. So overall, I definitely would recommend this cover. It's way more superior to the Otter product. It has absolutely no straps and relies on like a bungee system to stay on. It's not gonna stay on on the highway. You'll probably lose it down there. Costs a little bit more, but definitely worth it. And it does fit this style of uh, Otter Pro sled. Well, thank you very much from 28 Fish for watching our year in the gear review here. So I hope to do a series of these short videos to help you know whether you should spend your money on this, feel confident about the product, and have an honest review. I'm not sponsored by anybody, that's for sure. And I just want to make sure that the information I was looking for is in your hands. 